back at it again. Thank you all for tuning in. My name is Matt. Welcome back to my political commentary series, otherwise known as Valkyrie. Thank you for tuning in, whether you're watching, whether you're listening, no matter how you are uh, engaging with this. Thank you so much for tuning in. So recording this on the 1st of June, early in the morning, uh, 2024, broadcasting live from the heart of Empire. So the discussion for this commentary is the uh, there was an attempted coup in the Democratic Republic of Congo. And it's looking more and more likely that the U.S. was definitely involved in that. Obviously, I don't think they're going to say they were involved, but I think it's definitely something that, you know, it's pretty obvious. So this is from Reuters. This was from May 20th, 2024. Uh, the leader of an, attempt, uh, of an attempted coup on Sunday in the Democratic Republic of Congo, or the DRC, has been killed and some 50 people, including three American citizens, arrested, a spokesperson for the country told to Reuters. So, I know for a fact that there was... Um, handful of American citizens I know there was one there's a picture of the passport going around um, if I can try and pull that up if I can try and figure out the name it looks like Benjamin Rubin from Maryland so that was, that's the picture that's been going around the internet um Obviously, if you're listening on podcast format, you're not able to, to see the picture, but you are more than able to check it out on YouTube. You can look up the DRC attempted coup. There was, uh, looks like a handful. I think they said three different U.S. citizens involved. Um, there's a Wikipedia page already for it. Uh, the coup attempt was foiled quickly by security forces. The orchestrator of the coup, Christian Malanga, who is a Congolese native who had become a naturalized American, had founded a U.S. registered party, the United Congolese Party. And he claimed to be the president and the head of the new Zaire government in exile. So, the... The, this basically has the United States fingerprints all over it. Because if you look at just the passport itself, obviously that's, you know, definitely evidence of U.S. involvement. But if you look at who orchestrated the coup, this Christian Malanga, uh, a naturalized American citizen, founded a U.S. registered party, the United Congolese Party, he's basically claiming he's the president of this new Zaire government in exile. Um, yeah, no matter how much the U.S. wants to try and distance itself from this, um, it looks like there's definitely its fingerprints all over it, whether they want to or not. So... There hasn't been a whole lot of more information coming out of this attempted coup, but the coup failed, and I'm not entirely sure much more details on it, to be completely honest. But if you look at it from a uh, geographic perspective, the demographic, uh, the Democratic Republic of Congo is right in the heart of Central Africa. It has a ton of mineral resources, so the United States is probably trying to overthrow the government of the DRC with their own puppet, this uh, Mananga, I think his name was, Malanga, sorry, Malanga, uh, Christian Malanga. 
and this U.S. leaning party, this new Zaire government in exile or uh, United Congolese party or whatever the official terminology is. But this U.S.-backed coup in the Democratic Republic of Congo failed. I honestly don't think you can really pull off a coup with only about 50 people, to be completely honest. Like, maybe. But, like, I don't... If you're going to perform a coup d'etat, I don't... I, I think you need more than 50 people to make it even remotely successful. Um... Yeah, the coup failed, and the U.S. has its fingerprints all over it. So, the United States won't ever admit that they're involved, or admit that they're even remotely linked to this, because they don't want the backlash to come their way. But the uh, attempted coup in the DRC is definitely... The work of the United States, it's, it, the you know the spidey senses, quote unquote, of you know the CIA and all this you know uh, American intelligence apparatuses, you, you can definitely feel that they're somehow behind this. So that's kind of what's going on. There's not a whole lot more information that I know about, but interesting, interesting stuff. A, a U.S. backed coup had uh, has failed, so I'm gonna wrap it up. Thank you for uh, for watching or for listening or however you are engaging with this content. Thank you so much for tuning in, no matter where you are, how however you are listening you or whenever you're listening to this. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. I'm going to try and continue to do as much political commentary as I can. Um, so thank you all for tuning in, and I will see you all in the next one. Deuces.